My name is Thomas Weber and I'm the course coordinator of Europe in the 20th century. This is really a course for both history and non-history students alike. For history students, it's very much a um, introduction into what we do as, uh, as historians, what kind of questions we ask, how we create new knowledge. But for other students, it's also really a survey of the century that has just passed. It's a survey into who we all are. It's, it's also for non-history students a, uh, a wonderful course to, uh, to, to engage critically with sources, to deal with competing interpretations. And the way we teach the course is through a combination of lectures and uh, seminar sessions. And in the, um, they, are, they are taught by a number of people in, from, from the history department. And we try to cover this through, through themes. So we don't try to cover absolutely everything that has ever happened between 1900 and 2000, but we look, for instance, at um, the origin of the First World War, we look at why the 20th century was so violent for a while and then it started to settle down, we look at, at Ireland, we look at Jews and Zionism, or we looked at um, European integration and disintegration. And what we also do in the process is we try to have a kind of first step at writing a history ourselves. We try to figure out not only how other historians have covered what about 500 pages of writing a Europe, a history of Europe in the 20th century, but we also discuss particularly in the tutorials what would our own history of the 20th century look like.